Uh, the main element of the constituency commission report is the reduction in the number of seats in the door from 166 to 158. It means there are eight seats fewer in the next door. And that has meant that there are a number of constituencies which have lost seats, some constituencies have been abolished altogether, uh, and some constituencies have been merged. It's probably the biggest shake-up in constituency terms uh, for a very long time. Uh, the main findings would be certainly in Dublin, uh, two constituencies on the north side, Dublin North Central and Dublin North East, have been merged into one new constituency. Two three-seat constituencies are gone, one new seat, five-seat constituency called Dublin Bay North. Uh, on the south side of the city, uh, Dublin South, uh, which is a five-seat constituency, has lost two seats, so it's down to a three-seater, uh, which is a big change, uh, and it could mean that some TDs will find it very hard to retain their seats in the next election. Uh, Dublin North has been increased to a five-seater from a four-seater. Um, Dublin Central is down from a four-seater to a three-seater. So uh, overall, Dublin has lost three seats, uh, and that's going to uh, cause difficulty right across the capital. In other parts of the country, Munster has also lost three seats, uh, and Connacht Ulster have lost, has lost three seats. Uh, the only gainer is uh, Leash Offaly area of Leinster, which has gained a seat. Leash Offaly was a five-seat constituency. It's the oldest constituency in the state. It was there since 1923. Uh, it's been broken up into two three-seat constituencies because of population changes. Uh, on, on the west coast of Ireland, a number of uh, three-seaters are gone and they're merged. For instance, there were two three-seat constituencies in Donegal. That now be, they now become one five-seat Donegal constituency. The same thing has happened in Kerry. Uh, two three-seats become one five-seater. And in Tipperary, uh, where a five-seat constituency exists. All of these old county constituencies used to exist a long time ago, uh, but over the years they were broken up. Uh, the other highlights would be that uh, in Connacht, for instance, the Taoiseach's own constituency of Mayo has lost a seat. It's very unusual. Normally, uh, in the past, uh, the Taoiseach's constituency was always protected. This time round, uh, it's gone down from one from five seats to four. And given that there are four Fine Gael TDs in the constituency, uh, they have no chance of retaining four out of four seats, so that means a, a loss for Fine Gael. Uh, in, in Cork, Cork South Central uh, is down a uh, seat, uh, which will put pressure on both Fine Gael and maybe on Fianna Fáil as well, who have two seats in that constituency. So overall, right across the country, there are sweeping changes. Uh, they'll have implications for all the parties, a number of individuals. Uh, have been privately saying they now could face losing their seats. Um, the big name, high profile uh, ministers are not likely to lose, but given the fact that there are fewer seats next time round, there will certainly be many losers and there aren't too many winners in this. Well, the reaction, there are individual TDs uh, are looking at this, saying that they will be in severe difficulty. Jerry Buttermore of Cork, uh, South Central, uh, who got elected in a five-seater, uh, will find it very difficult to get elected in a four-seater. His Fianna Fáil colleague, who is the finance spokesman of the party, Michael McGrath, could face a similar problem because Fianna Fáil got two seats, the only constituency in the country where Fianna Fáil got two in the last election, uh, and it's been reduced from a five to a four. It can make it very difficult to retain those two. Um, across the country, particularly in Dublin, a number of Labour TDs will be under pressure. Dublin South, which has gone from a five seat to a three seat, will mean problems for Labour's Alex White, but could also mean problems for Peter Matthews of Fianna Gael, uh, because uh, he, there are both uh, new TDs. And Shane Ross, who topped the board in the Dublin South constituency last time round, you would think should be safe, but Dublin South has a history of uh, dumping people from the top to the bottom. Um, at the Fitzgerald, uh, in one election, topped the poll uh, in 1992. She had the biggest vote in the country, and the next election she lost her seat, so Shane Ross will be conscious of that. Um, right across Dublin, there will be TDs who will be under pressure in Dublin North, in, in North Central and North East. Uh, Labour TDs like Aon O'Riordan, Sean Kelly, um, even Tommy Bruin will find it a battle to hold on to their seats. Uh, and if, if Fine Gael TDs will have problems in constituencies like Dublin South Central, where, where Catherine Byrne has, has seen this constituency reduced from a five to a four, and she'll have uh, have a battle to retain her seat. So, uh, right, right across the board, uh, you will see people in, in difficulties uh, in the next election as a result of this change.